It's a common and sometimes stressful condition many people suffer, hair loss. On average, we lose anywhere from 50 to 100 hairs a day. Now, that's actually normal, but more than 50% of women will experience balding. And by age 50, about 85% of men are balding, according to the American Hair Loss Association. What causes it, and is there anything that we can do about it? Let's ask the expert. Joining me now is Dr. Natasha Bouillon. All right, Natasha, let's start from the beginning. Mm -hmm. There are so many causes. Right. Let's go through it. Yeah, and it's important to know the cause of hair loss because that that determines the actual treatment that matters. Mm -hmm. The number one cause we tend to see, it's aging, hormones, and genetics. Yeah. And so when people are aging, the hair follicles tend to shrink, yes. and so they will notice hair loss. And even hormonal changes, when people go through menopause, half of women who go through menopause will notice that their hair is thinning. Right. But there are seasons and ebbs and flows because many women after menopause will notice some hair growth because that estrogen oh. level has decreased and then plateaued. So there is light. There okay. is light at okay. the end of that tunnel. But <laughs> okay. then the other big one that I see people don't think about it's stress. Oh my stress gosh. can really cause hair loss and yeah. it's not when the stressful event happens, it's often six months after. And so I'll have patients that come to me and say I'm losing a lot of hair all of a sudden, they might right. be young, and we investigate and find out they were in a car accident six months ago or they were going through a divorce four months ago and that stressful life event can precipitate hair loss later on. Wow. So that's important to know. Okay. And then of course there's other causes too, infections, people get COVID infections, right. they might lose hair after. Okay. Auto Autoimmune conditions are also important mm -hmm. because autoimmune conditions, that means your own body is actually attacking those hair follicles. Okay. And so being aware of that is really key. But definitely a whole range of reasons that people lose their hair. And you know, if you're not sure what's happening, it's good to follow up with a doctor to understand exactly why. And I know like after childbirth, oh my goodness, oh, that's, that was coming out. That's yeah. a good one. You know, that actually impacted me. So right. about three to four months after childbirth in the postpartum phase, mm -hmm. I was losing a lot of hair and you know, I was actually trying all kinds of products. I didn't know what actually worked, what didn't work. And ultimately that hair ended up growing back. Yes. And so I realized, you know what, if I knew this was the cause, I didn't need to actually do anything. The hair right. would come back when the baby's one year old. And then other things like wearing ponytails, lots of blow drying. Stress on the hair. Brush brushing, all kinds of stuff can really right. like lead to lots of hair shedding. Okay, so now let's talk about the products or what we can do to help this because there is there is some hope. Yeah, and this is the thing. We all get bombarded with ads for lots of products, so yes. it's important to know what actually out there works. So there is good evidence that saw palmetto and rosemary oil are good supplements that can help for hair loss that's in the central scalp in particular. Okay. And so women sometimes lose hair there if they have polycystic ovarian syndrome. Mm -hmm. Men lose hair in those areas, and we do find that we can help regrow the hair. Okay. Biotin's an interesting product. Yes, I see that everywhere. A lot of people use biotin, mm -hmm. and biotin is helpful in preventing hair loss, it doesn't actually help hair growth. The things that do help hair growth, prescription medications. Okay. There's generic prescription meds for things like finasteride, minoxidil, which yeah. is known as Rogaine over the counter, but yeah. you can take oral minoxidil. Okay. Those work in actually regrowing hair that uh -huh. you've previously lost. Yeah. Um, and then we also look at things like topical prostaglandins. A lot of people think of that with Latisse for your eyelashes. Oh, yeah. So people will use that for eyelash growth. Mm -hmm. That only works if you actually have functioning hair follicles, it can't just grow hair where there's no hair follicles. Oh, so again, see. it's important to understand exactly what's happening. There's procedures out there, lasers, microneedling, there's yeah. other surgeries and interventions. Um, but again, we need to know, like, is it because our hair is shedding excessively? Okay. Is it because our follicles are actually compromised? So again, knowing the, the reason, cause. the cause yeah. is really key. And then of course, some people have dandruff or a mm -hmm. fungal infection on their scalp. Okay. And so using some antifungal medication can truly help that. What about Nutrafol? I see that a lot. Yeah, so there's products out there that I like. So Nutrafol is actually one of the products I do recommend. Oh. And that's because it has saw palmetto, it has biotin, it has a proprietary complex that has shown it works. Mm -hmm. The other product, look, it's tried and true, it's Rogaine. It that's does, been around forever. It's been yes. around forever yeah. and it has minoxidil dill that people use topically or you can get a prescription to take it or orally. It does work. The problem is once you stop taking it, you'll just lose the hair again. So you have and to take it forever. You have to just take it forever once you start taking it. Is that it. safe? It's fine to take, yeah. Okay. You can talk to a doctor as long as you're taking the right dosage, it's fine to take for a long time. Okay. And then um, ketoconazole shampoos, they're out there. Okay. If fungal is the underlying issue, that's an easy thing to take over the counter. Woo! Yeah. We covered a lot Lots of stuff about okay, hair loss. I but I know it's really debilitating, and so I always validate people's experience that are going through it. Yes, main thing, determine the cause, and then move forward from exactly. there. Exactly. Yep. All right.